This is how they line up. South Africa up against Ireland. And it is the surprise pack. It's Ireland who came back from the dead against the USA to win in extra time. South Africa were down by 12 against New Zealand in their cup semi-final. Both teams littered with superstars who can break it open at any moment. Oh, for this Irish team, for me, it's Harry McNulty, the skipper, really is the glue along with Jordan Conroy for South Africa. Well, Franco Dupree has been the one who's come on and come on as well. Rob Vickham in his sideline. Vicks run us through the energy here. He's caught up in the energy itself. Katanana. It's really starting to ramp up here. I feel like we've really come through the other side of COVID. He's a full house now as we get set for the anthems. in 2019 Rob Vickerman you've ridden their rise very closely what chance are they here 
My word, that was an incredible anthem. Two of these teams are up for it. Bearing in mind, Ireland played here as an invitational team six years ago. Here they are, absorbing this energy. South Africa are pumped. This is going to be one incredible fight. I'll take it just after the anthems. That was amazing. I know you were here last year in the desert for the final on week two of the Dubai tournament. How does the energy tonight match up against that? Well, that's the intensity South Africa can bring. They have gone so well here in the desert. This is their second home, but they're going to have to go some because that noise is not something I've witnessed. There must be 5,000 invitational fans in the West Stand here. A bit from the comments from the former England Sevens captain, Rob Vickham and Terry Kennedy, the reigning World Rugby Sevens Player of the Year in the stands. Carl Tanana, former New Zealand Sevens captain and World Series champion himself, in commentary also. We are set, ready to go in Dubai. Come on. There's not a spare seat available as Roach gets us moving towards Soizwapi. The contest is good from the kickoff. With the blitz box as they work it in the direction of one of their flyers and Van Vyck splits them open. It's a blinding start from the flyer. Oh, South Africa really have played with tempo on day two. And Van Vyck, look at those Razzley feet from the number 20. In the perfect start, they blitz it straight off the kickoff there, Rob. Outstanding. Oh, mate, he just pierced the turf with that sidestep. That was a thing to behold right in front of me. He soared past the defenders. Terry Kennedy, he's been going to miss him in the stand, no doubt. But Harry McNulty was defending in front of him and didn't get a finger on him. That was electric from him. The conversion is good as well. So it's a 7 0 lead inside the first 60 seconds for the Blitzbox chasing their fourth straight title here in D Dubai. Bloody with the restart. Gets good weight on it as well, taken by Ireland. So a chance now for the oh, underdogs no! to have a go with ball in hand. McNulty good with the take. Good with the recycle as well. Not short on big bodies themselves. Ireland as Ward Leave. punches forward. Roach, the hero in their cup semi-final win against the USA. Take your meters down that far First side defense, and the penalty goes away of Ireland. Yeah, I don't want to play at a slow tempo where South Africa want to play everything high because even their line speed was very good, getting up quick and shutting down the mid options of this Irish unit, having to go back to the blind. But the Irish won't mind that. They've got some big ball carriers. That is a great kick to touch as well. It's just their second cup final. They went down in Toulouse last year, but they do have least. big game experience taking World the bronze medal of the Rugby World Cup Sevens in Cape Town. Yeah, and they've got a lot of big players too have been around for a little while now, such as McNulty. I think they'll have something out their sleeve here from this line out. Jordy Way gets them set. Looking for a reply to the try from Van Dijk. McNulty, good hands. Roach. Over for Cribben. They're stepping into it at pace out wide as well. Not releasing will be the call there on the ground. And now South Africa come back with tempo. Duplessis. Finding the huge frame of Hussein. Not rolling away as a call there against Ireland. And now it's the boots box with the penalty. Well, Vic, you'll be seeing a sideline, man. How fast is this game already? Yeah, it's pretty quick, KT. One thing that these two teams look to do is play to that structure, which means they can control that tempo. When these teams want to go, they go, but they're more than happy to slow it down, play to their set piece, and get their big guys doing their jobs. I think it's a prime opportunity now for well, South well, Africa really. to get their man of the moment, Ricardo Duarte, involved. He's the one who's going to feed this scrum. He is electric. If he gets a clean heel, look out for their blind side. Crouch! Find! Duarte with the feet, picks and spins it across the left, finds Duplessis, Duplessis angling crossfield, put down with a good tackle there, just inside the Irish half as they go whip to whip, and thump it forward now through Fisser, big carry from Empey Fisser, Usazen, over to Duarte, here comes the opening try scorer from Vike. 
Ushazen. Quick to recycle for Pretorius. Pretorius lining up runners and now sneaking his way through and connecting with Fitzer. He was chasing Soizwap. He goes in now and tidies up. Ushazen. Sending it long to Duarte. Duarte away from one. Wrapped up heavy with a tackle from Conroy. Good coverage from Conroy. Still with South Africa, though, as Pretorius gets clipped clean and heavily by O'Sullivan. So he's whopping. Back for Ushazen. Duarte feeding it early for Duplessis, delaying the switch. Fun by still going and now stepping through. He's quick, he's rapid, and he's putting his team in front by 12. I'll tell you what, that whole build-up was impressive. They were so composed. We're South Africa, the recycle was supreme. And look at this, doesn't get much better than that. Holy smokes, that speed, good luck stopping that. And you know, South Africa, they always have a plan coming into games. Their plan is to target certain defenders in this Irish line. Three times people have lined up at McNulty. They've squared him off in the eyes and they tried to get that outside. That meant it was a tight defender going across and these guys can find gaps. Their feet are phenomenal. Well, the 12-point margin seemed to be 14. Shouldn't trouble Irish fans, though. All weekend long, we've seen comeback after comeback after comeback. South Africa themselves were down by double digits against New Zealand in their cup semi-final. They found a way. Still plenty of time here for Ireland. As a restart heads in the direction of McNulty. Met front on there by Ushazen. The press and line speed from South Africa is immense. The they rush on the and limit outside. Ireland's <laughs> options. Now the penalty advantage though for Ireland. Roach, no way through 20, and will mark the spot. What South, 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 South Africa are State. doing, they're cutting off the position of Ireland who like to come to the far side, set up and then release their big boys when they go wide to wide at the moment. Ireland can't do that and they're shutting down McNulty so there's no go for from Ireland at the moment. And their line speed really is exceptional. They are flying off that line like a race. It's tough to get round it. Sometimes you have to absorb a hit. Ireland have to play savvy. Yeah, as you see, John, there's still heaps of time, so no need to deviate from their plan, Ireland, here. Once again, play Green slow, get to your set piece. Just execute. Green's on the line to take a metre off that. Roach to the safe hands of McNulty. Now he goes wide. Can they bring Jordan Conroy into the play? He gets a handle here, so he's up. He sees it and rushes up and shuts it down. Duplessis looking for the turnover. On him the whole time. Won't get it. Penalty Island. So the difference in attitude, South Africa, South Africa would have taken that quick tap and gone straight away. Conversely, Ireland still slow it down, go to set piece once again, line out. It's so audible hearing Jack Kelly there shouting, slow down, take your time. Really was shouting the instructions, put it out there. And it's this side of the field. We're Ireland really do like to launch from. On the line. He had a little snippet the first time Jordan Conroy touched the ball. He had multiple defenders on him, and he still was able to get halfway through some of those broken tackles. He's the threat. Need to get him the ball. Roach again looking for safe. McNulty. Again, it's clean. Down for Roach. Midfield on now. The spin back short side. Read well by the blitz box. McNulty releases fine, and goes again. Clever play from the Irish big man, the captain. Gets his knees to the ground, they're not releasing, will be the call against the Springboks along with the high tackle. And again, the call to go the sideline, obviously a plan that they've got. A minute nearly over. The half-time whistle, if they strike here, the confidence they'll get out of this will be huge, Island. I'm going to give him a clear mark. That's your, that's your mark. Okay, don't move off that. Stay open. Stay open. It's rinse and repeat from Roach to McNulty. They work the set play nicely to create some runners here, but Soiz Wap is it. Outside in and away goes.
So ready to go with the final seven minutes of the weekend. This uh, cup final, Good to go. points to zero is the score it is. South Africa, who lead for the moment. Duarte with the restart. Mixing up the direction and it's taken nicely this time round by the Irish. They pick and go at the back. There's hard metres on the, ball. on the other side and now the penalty for Ireland. He's a tap to go. Away through Smith. Smith, fresh leg. Smith thundering over the top of the tackle there of Duplessis. Lovely ball away from the floor there from Lennox. No hands, no! Kelly. Conroy fishes it out. Put their backs to work now. Ireland. Infield goes Smith. Couple of good runs early in the second half from Smith. McNulty. Lennox. Kelly. Pinging it wide, Conroy now, Conroy almost to the outside, Duplessis stops him on the spot. McNulty at pace, Roach. Calling for the runner infield, Roach towards the 22, penalty South Africa. Not releasing will be the call, Carlton Anna. Geez, I'll tell you what, their whole defensive set, South Africa look very, very composed in all situations. Get their width nicely, their spacing, they had everything covered. Very, very Scrum. impressive. Scrum. The noise of these collisions as well. It's not just a tackle to get someone down, it's an aggressive approach. Some the some green box, 11. Working well. Well, Rob Vick, but it's notably, this is the same South African team that shaped and up five. against Great green Britain five. early yesterday. Yeah, hard to believe, isn't it? I mean, the young and the younger sevens world's an interesting one. It's a roller coaster performance from South Africa, but this is where they belong. Two, sorry, two, final two, two, three. and they're stepping up. It's been their type of tournament, though. Right from day one, there's been upsets, there's been teams that are supposed to be winning, didn't win, there's been draws, there's been extra times, there's been everything. There's nothing like a kick up the paint. It's exactly what this South African team got. And man, oh man, haven't they taken that on board? Fines! Sit! Okay, He's a boots box debutant. Duarte feeding it. Singing away for Van Vyck, who scored the first try in this cup final. Now they tow it ahead, they tow it long, they get back. too much on it. Substitution of White field 14. as well. So a great okay. opportunity here for Ireland to potentially launch their comeback. I think this is the moment for me. There are in finals, and you've been there, Rob. I think Ireland need a score from here. Oh, they've got to go for it, KT, no doubt. So I think the line speed South Africa put it on has really changed the tactics that Ireland are trying to go for. But stick to your strengths. Get Conroy a bit of space. He will do the rest. Well, they're doing exactly what you're talking about. I think they're going to move him a little bit closer. I'm with you, though. Give him the ball early, even if it's an M2. Let him go. Climbs back on. Roach to McNulty. Pressure at the line-up. But it's on the 15. There's a penalty. Going the way of Ireland, playing the man in the air is the call. A restart at 15 in from the touchline. Roach, the playmaker. South Africa rush up again, and that creates space out for Conroy. Conroy beats Duplessis. Duplessis comes back and goes, yoink! He rips it away from Conroy. And now they tow it upfield, and there are green jerseys everywhere in pursuit. Ireland salvage it. Now come back themselves by the boot. The kick from Smith. Tied it up at the back. The blitz box seeing acres and acres and acres of space. They run straight at bodies, though. It's a good tackle from Kelly. And now they flood the breakdown, they win the penalty. They're not cooked yet. Oh, he's yeah, behind like the that ball, Roach is blowing up. Deluxe, I don't blame him too. There was a massive opportunity with the broken line of South Africa. Hey. Good counter ruck though. Substitution, Green is the heavy tackle. Two yeah, on one, on, and then the counter ruck comes from Ireland. What about the steal from Duplessis on Conroy? Completed. Burgled him. Roach. It's just got to happen here as we enter the final. 
quarter of the cup final. We'll get this order. For sure, yeah. Just make sure you don't play the arm. Chasing their first ever title on the series face. island. South Africa looking for four straight cup wins in Dubai. He's the dummy and go at the front. Penalty again. How many more till South Africa lose a man? Try it. Okay. Kelly is in. They'll go quick with the conversion attempt from Roach. Roach from wide out. They want to have a look at this one. Green move. Well, I think he's just telling South Africans get out of the road, but this is what exactly what they needed here. Island quick tap. Boy's going to be hard with the back foot defence. No need to rush here with the conversion. Off on time on when you kick it. Definitely really think it's a case of a bit of gamesmanship there. Penalty yeah. for South Africa is not a bad thing. They've conceded three now. Then the yellow card could be away solving that. Come back on. Roach from wide out looking to draw it back. It does wrong by the Irishman. It stays away. Here's a look at the try from Kelly. Oh, much needed as well, Ireland. You know they're not going to go away oh. easy, but they need this kickoff. Here we go. Here's a stab and run. Oh, no, they're coming we're back for on the it. field. You haven't got all your players behind, so we need to make sure we're legal. Oh, Jordy Way, way the field. referee, says, no, you've got to redo it. So now Roach will have to likely go via the sky. And the clock just kept running. It's well weighted. And then lost forward. No penalty. Made actions before he's jumped. The penalty goes contact. against Ireland. What's he got that one there for, Rob? That's right in front of you. What are you doing? That's Strong. right in front of me, that one. He's still for getting in the way of the lifting pod. Jack Kelly did nothing wrong there whatsoever. That is a tough call on Ireland. That's absolutely rubbish. And that's what that was, and then an integral part of the final. Let's go, please, Green. Crouch! That may just be enough Walker. as Duarte cleverly winds that clock Come down. Off. Now we stop the clock. Okay, I spoke to you earlier there. Yeah, okay, yeah. You're still carrying on here. Right, okay. I need you to cut it out, right, otherwise yeah. I'll penalise you. Yeah. Understood? Yeah, let's go. I can understand Roach's frustration though. If they get back to back scores, that changes the whole complex. Time back on, well, this is final. But here we go, got a D up, so they got still in charge. Watch for the kick. Set! Duarte with the feed. He peels away and goes to Duplessis, who's been big in this cup final. So too is that man Off from the foot. Time and possession is good time here for the Blitz Box. Davids punches it forward, punches it hard, and Duplessis looks up and shapes up and fires it over to Van Vyt, trying to collect a runner on the outside. Oh, it's lost, and Conroy looks up and comes back with Conroy infield and we may just substitution white 21 run. what 21 South Africa won't mind this because the clock's still running is it no cool time off what well, substitution is made good defense here though oh. from Ireland what a guy to bring oh. on to steer a oh. ship as well Branco de Bria about to come on oh. chasing his swing oh. oh. here in Dubai Green. that's almost Green. laughable Green. this guy is turned well. into the king of sevens yeah, here in the well. desert and Charlie, but yeah, you're right. Branko the Priya, the closer, he's been fantastic off the bench. Just that calming influence when South Africa need him most. There he is, there the ledge, the Priya. So it'll be an Irish feed as we near the final completed minute of play. Time back on Crouch. Been an incredible run from the Irish Lines. to put themselves in this position. Set. Went deep into extra time in their cup semi-final against the USA Finish. before winning that one. Now they tow it ahead. No They've got a penalty. We'll go Five. back Early. and again. That clock just keeps rolling against bounce. the Irish and in favour. Time off of the blitz box. He's going to give time off here now. John away is wait for the ball, but pretty much have to score right now. It's Three scores, so it's a long way back from Ireland, but you've got to give it to this effort defensively from South Africa. It's yeah. been massive. Yeah, we're in Q, though, Tom. Tom, back on. Ireland punching it. Center field. Lost. Penalty, South Africa. And it's Dupria. Who else over the top? No delay here. Oh, there he is. The number seven, Dupria. Like I said, just comes on. With all that experience Rob Vickerman spoke about. In the finals, just imposing himself at the right time. 
buddy. Come off, please. Let's go, please. Well, what have they got for us? How do oh. they close this one out? Come forward. I reckon they go to the right side and kick it downtown. Crouch. Use their defence and finish off there. Turn this Irish team Fines. around. Set. Oh, tight head. What's the chance? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? I might be Ireland with the final say, with the final points. McNulty. As a full-time siren goes at the Seven Stadium. It's Ireland looking for the final score. It's been South Africa who have led every step of the way in this cup final. Lost here, and they might go for more. Zane Davids, he can't hang on. We're coming back. First one. And Geordie Wade may just say that's it. He does. It's official. Nobody does it in the desert like South Africa. That's their fourth straight title in Dubai. Too good for Ireland in the cup final. Full time the score. 21 points to five. Yeah, emphatic, wasn't it, from South Africa right from the get-go. Going back to their staple and foundation was which is the defense always has been always will, will be it's in their dna and that really set the platform for them to thrive they're just growing and growing and growing as this tournament has gone on not panicked at any stage despite being well and truly under the pump there's a key moment in that cup semi against New Zealand, where it looked like New Zealand going to go up by 17, maybe 19, and shakes all his way up. He got underneath them, delivered an incredible try saver to deny New Zealand, and then they ran in 26 second half points against New Zealand to set up a chance at the big prize, and they've got it now. Let's get sidelined for some reaction. Here's Rob Vickerman.